Uh, you see anything? Doesn't look like anybody's home. Won't you gentlemen have a Pepsi? What do we do? Won't you gentlemen have a Pepsi? What the... What the hell is this place? Welcome to Dump, Deep Underground Military Protection Facility. Wouldn't that be Dumpf? The F is silent like a knife. We're actually working for the federal government, and we need your help. Do you want to be spies like us? Can we be spies like them? We've actually resolved our differences. Wait a minute. I, I don't understand. What do you mean you guys work for the government? Well, Brian, it turns out Spies Like Us was Ronald Reagan's favorite movie, so he actually appointed us honorary spies back in the 80s. That still doesn't explain what you're doing here. You see, Brian, during the Cold War, the Soviet Union brainwashed dozens of American civilians, effectively making them sleeper agents who could be activated at any time to do the work of the KGB. Activated how? The agents could be activated by uttering a predetermined phrase, at which point they would snap into a trance and mindlessly carry out whatever orders they were given by their KGB handlers. Well, wh I mean, what if they encountered somebody who said the phrase accidentally? Not possible. The activation phrase was something that no one would ever think to utter. What is it? The phrase is, gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. You see, the U.S. government believes that one of these sleeper agents is right here in Quahog. Now, you two uh, uh, individuals live here. Are there any local residents whom you've seen acting strangely? Well, there's a pedophile up the street that nobody seems to be doing anything about, but it's mainly because he's so funny. Well, look, we'd be happy to help in any way we can. Hey, is Ron Howard's weird-looking brother one of these lab technicians? Of course he is. It's an 80s movie. Hey, there's something on the screen. And those two bums turned to me and said, You're not funny, Peter. In my own house. Well, what was the bit? Okay, ready? I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh my. oh, my God, Peter. Yeah, I'll tell you, and I'm your friend, and I'll be honest with you, that's funny. That is funny. And you know what I appreciate about your joke, Peter? It's clean. It's clean funny. I just wish there was some way I could show them how wrong they are. Show them that we know comedy better than they do. Hey, I got an idea. What's the most consistently funny form of comedy in existence? Improv? Improv! 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 We'll start our own improv group and put on a show. All right! Thank you for seeing us on such short notice, Mayor West. No problem, gentlemen. May I call you gentlemen? Yeah? Now, you say this spy is located somewhere in Quahog? That's right. We need you to set up some roadblocks to help us contain him. Do you have any clues regarding the identity of the spy? It's a little tricky, sir. See, the operative is completely unaware that he's been programmed. And the only way to activate him and discover his identity is by saying the phrase, Gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. It's him! <laughs> I haven't been this uh, since I, uh, I... I don't... I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, but... Oh, there's track star Wilma Rudolph. Obviously, she had something to do with the gag, but I didn't hear the setup, so I don't really know the, the context. Hey, I wonder what Peter's up to! Peter! <laughs>